and Jane were already doing a live again. And Larry started helping her, and not only did he help Jane, he started helping other producers like myself. Uh, I've been on this. I've been on the air for 25 years, and when I came, uh, Larry Harmon was the one that really uh, helped me a lot. And uh, that's when I first met him, and he was there, uh, like he himself, showing you stuff and showing you uh, how to do things and uh, letting you know he knows what it's all about. And we were very happy to, to see him with that kind of experience. When I first came here to Charlotte, North Carolina, I met him, Larry and his wife. And um, they left quite an impression on my husband and I. I was running through Simpac as normal. And uh, <laughs> he was like, Sonia, I want to do your intro for you. Since 2010, he helped us in editing, produce, produce, I produce the show, but he is always involved in helping us. He's the best. Well, my first encounter with Larry was when we had, we used to have uh, producers meetings, and this, this is how I remember. And that's how I met uh, him with sandwiches and, and uh, you know, having drinks and uh, Larry would get up and share. And at that time I was so shy because uh, I'd never been involved in television program, so I watched him a lot. And then I listened to him and I was amazed. And he did it without, without uh, complaining and with all the strength he had and integrity and he was a very devoted person too and, and that's what I admire so much about him. What I, he has a big heart. Larry has a heart of gold. I mean, I would see him come down here and edit for people um, even after he been in the hospital. We didn't even know he had been there. And he has such a heart for helping educational TV be the best it can be. But not only is he a good person, uh, he knows how to work with all people he come in contact with and he always does it on a professional level. But there's a professional criticism, and then there's a derogatory criticism, and Larry always had a way of giving professional criticism, and he knew what he was doing. Uh, he, he, will, he actually will make it better, but the most important thing is Larry was always about how to make it better what we can do, how we can bring things together to make it better. You let me know what I need to change and what, you know, to make it look better. And he was very professional, I must say that. And uh, I learned a lot from him, I really did. And so that's what I mean when it comes to a person that has so much experience and give back to the organizations, you know, people that are up and coming. It was great to have someone like that. We all need someone like that. Always he asked what's my vision the show. He never uh, put his vision. But he's sorrow he gave his suggestion. And that's kind of like Mr. Larry. And always his advice. But first he know that's my show. That's not his show. And that's he helped us in this point in um, making our better producer. It's impossible to overlook a dynamic person like uh, Larry with all of his uh, strengths and he freely gave. He didn't just uh, talk the talk, but he also walked the walk. And if we don't have people like that in the business of volunteering in, in any way of life, then you're sunk. 100% dedicated. And that's the type of person Larry is. He has a heart of gold. Yes, he put people before he put himself. One time in Edgerton, he said, you know, that song just sounds like a funeral. I said, okay, let's do it again. <laughs> I'm just very delighted to be able to do something small to uh, show my appreciation. You know, Larry's been here over 25 years. And uh, he he's right now, he's in a walk, a walkie. Well, uh, he has this thing, this walker. And I hear this ching, 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 ching. I'm like, what in the world is that? And all I hear is fire in the hole. I'm like, fire in the hole? What's that? And here comes Larry around the corner. He, he, without Larry, we would probably never have our own cable access. There's no question about it. So, I mean, when you say Larry Harmon, you're talking about Simpac. I mean, he's, he's amazing. And he always treated me 
looked like I was his sister. Always, always. Um, I in general, I would like to say thank you to him. This in 2000, um, and he helped the Spiritual Society of the Carolina with the Spiritism today, every 2010. And I would like to thank you, Mr. Larry. Hi, Larry. Oh boy, I thought once you was giving me a hard time, but you was just teaching me the ropes, weren't you? So Larry, we just want to thank you for your love, hard work, and faithfulness. Without you, public access, educational TV wouldn't be what it is today. Bless you. Larry, you're watching. I sent you a two-page letter saying that uh, I can't bother you anymore because uh, you're just you're helping so many people. You really need to take care of yourself. But thank you, Larry, for giving us the patience, for taking the time with us. I just want you to know that I love you deeply and that with Harvey, you were tops in Harvey's book. All right, Larry, I just want to say thank you so much for the many years that you've given to Access 21, the mentor and the leadership, and hey, fire and hope. And I just wanted to express my appreciation, and I just want to thank you, because you have really been an asset to this whole unit. Thank you. Just wanted to thank you for your legacy that you are, are making and will and is helping us to try to follow your example. I thank you. Again, Larry, we appreciate it. This is kind of your baby. And I said to that after 25 years, a lot of, we've met so many wonderful people. This has been a wonderful experience and I wouldn't change anything. And thanks again and get well, okay? 